So the problem that we were talking about was a scenario where the instances are not able to talk to each other if they are present in other VPCs. A VPC peering connection is a network connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them using private IPv4 addresses or IPv6 addresses. So AWS provides us a VPC peering connection which helps us connect VPCs so that we can enable traffic routing between them using our private IPv4 addresses. And that is the reason why when we look at this image below, we see the instances across subnets are able to communicate with each other, but not with the instances across VPCs. So the instances at VPC A are not able to communicate with the instances at VPC B. So there is no communication between them. They are totally isolated. They want to talk to each other, but they are not able to talk to each other. And if you don't have the VPC peering, what we have to do, we, we would either need public internet access or VPN connections or internet gateways to achieve this. But what if we don't want to use these things? We need something simple, isn't it? So what do you get in your mind when I say VPC peering? Just think of this term peering and nothing else. So peering is a method that allows two networks to connect and exchange traffic directly without having to pay a third party to carry traffic across the internet. So the peering connection is provided by AWS and we can use it to connect to other VPC and get access to the resources we need. But that's not that simple. We need to understand what are the things that make up for the VPC peering connection. And that is what we are going to discuss now. So let's change things here and let's replace the connection with our VPC peering connection. If you see on the right hand side, these two VPCs belong to a specific region and you might ask me, what if these VPCs are in a different region altogether? And yes, your question is totally valid. So let's see how it can help us. So if our instances or VPCs are placed across regions, for this AWS provides us with inter-region VPC peering connection. I hope you will remember this point, inter-region VPC peering connections. So let's go back to the definition again. A VPC peering connection is a network connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them using private IPv4 addresses or IPv6 addresses. So this is nothing like we put some cables or any special hardware when you create VPC peering, actually, especially for you. So here AWS uses the existing infrastructure for a VPC or of a VPC to create a VPC peering connection so that sharing data across accounts becomes easier and so that sharing data across instances across VPCs becomes easier. Sometimes you might have people working in your same organization who want to collaborate and use specific resources or applications privately. You can make use of the VPC peering connection for this case as well. And as I have already told you before, we can establish peering connection or peering relationship between two VPCs across different AWS region that is also called as the inter-region VPC peering. And the best part and the USP for using a VPC peering connection is that you can communicate with EC2, RDS or even AWS Lambda without needing to have a gateway connection or VPN connection or, or even having the need for separate network appliances and all traffic that you see remains in the private IP space. So now let's talk about how do we establish connection when we try to create a VPC peering connection. So here we have John and Jesse, both owners of a VPC they are currently working on. So they are working on products and they have some dependency on each other. So what they decided was they will be using VPC peering as a part of the solution. Here John is the requester VPC that you can see who actually is going to make a request and Jesse is the owner of the acceptor VPC. Yes, when you create a VPC peering connection, there has to be a requester who makes a request to another VPC to accept the peering connection. Let's check the steps here. So John, who is the owner of the requester VPC, sends a request to the owner of the acceptor VPC to create the VPC peering connection. So that's the first step. So John here actually is sending request to the VPC that is owned by Jesse to create the VPC peering connection. And the acceptor VPC can either be in the same account or another AWS account or it can be owned by you or someone else. But the thing that you need to remember is that you cannot have a CIDR block that overlaps with the requester VPC CIDR block. 
So you cannot have VPC peering connections with overlapping CIDR blocks. And this is one of the most important points that you need to remember. You cannot have VPC peering connection with overlapping CIDR blocks. Next, Jesse, who is the owner of the Acceptor VPC, accepts the, the VPC peering connection request to activate the VPC peering connection. And next, to enable the traffic flow, the requester VPC has to add the routes for the IP addresses in the route table. And if your security groups doesn't match with the current setting for the peering connection traffic flow, uh, the requester VPC must make changes to the security groups as well so that there are no restrictions for the peering connection. Last but not the least, if the instances on either side of the connection use public DNS hostname for communication, we must enable DNS hostname resolution so that they can use the private IP to talk to the instances.